Hey guys, today is six months on tea and I thought I would make a little video <laughs> update so I can let you know how it's going. And obviously my voice is still cracking, but that's not really a change that happened. I'll explain to you what's happening with my voice. So last week I was at the Philly Trends Health Conference and I was talking a lot to people who like wanted to come meet me and hang out and it was like really fantastic. Um, my voice is like deeper, maybe it's because I was surrounded by so many trans, or maybe because I talk so much I'm like I'm slowly losing my voice. So I can't do a voice comparison, which is fine because six years on T is like whatever, can't really do anything anyways, it's not one of those like five or ten years. Um, but I am going to talk about little interesting things that I have found um, about year six. So I started hormones on June 16th, 2010. I feel so old, trust me, I feel so old. Old. I look at all these people starting tea now and I'm like, Jesus Christ, how many years has it been? It's 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 hard to process, honestly. It's like, holy shit, like I I have been at this for like a long time. Um and I guess I just don't realize it anymore because I'm just like I'm finally living the life I was supposed to live. I say this in every like milestone video, but um what's special about this one is that um I, I, I don't know how to explain it, like, in my mind, the number seven doesn't exist, okay? And, um, like, like, in a year, like, let me rephrase that, in my mind, um, being on T for seven years doesn't exist. And maybe it's because when I started on T, no one was seven years on T, or, or that had talked about it, or there was maybe not, I don't know why I'm stuck on this number. Uh, a lot of people who are like five plus years on T kind of disappear from the internet and are stealth. I do know a couple of people who are over seven years, but for me personally, it doesn't feel like it's a number that I'm ever going to get to. And that's what's like, it's, it's kind of freaking me out a little bit because um, it's about to happen. Like tomorrow, I literally step into year seven, which is something I never thought I would do. Part of it is because I didn't think I would be alive this long. Um, and part of it is that reason that I was just talking about. It just seems so like unattainable. And it's, it's, it's not even like it's a big number, man. When I'm 10 years on T, that is gonna be like huge. Like we're throwing a block party, a block party. Like I live in a place I can actually fucking throw a party. Anyway, so I also wanted to, to, to thank someone. And I don't know. You might know them, and um, I I want to thank this person for like being there for me um, throughout the six years, even though they were in and out of my life, and it was like really confusing at times, and I don't know, I felt like this person always had my back and kind of like helped me through what I'm going through right now. And as corny as it sounds, this person is my younger self. And the reason I say that is because I am so proud of myself for doing what I have done. If I put myself in the shoes of the person that I was six years ago to the person I am now, I would never believe that I am this person ever. I wouldn't even, I think I would recognize myself. I would never think that it was me. So the fact that I was so like, I wasn't shy, but I didn't really go out much, and I was like, I always had friends, it was always easy for me to make friends and stuff like that, I've always been this type of person, but I was always reserved, and the fact that I was able to like, like, see it within myself to do what I knew I needed best, like, I went off of hormones after a year, I can't believe I did that, honestly, I can't believe I was brave enough to do that back then, because I remember who I was, and as Honestly, as like as corny as it sounds, I've been doing the every day for a year, every day for a year, every day for six years thing for six years now. Every day picture, what the hell am I trying to say? I've been taking a picture of my face every day now for six years. Today is the six year mark, bang, okay? Um, and I am like so proud of younger Chase for continuing to do that. And if I had stopped doing that, I would be like so mad at myself in the past. Um, so I'm so happy that I've been able to do that. And the fact that I'm like, I'm here, man, with 2,194 pictures to show you of my face throughout the six years. You know how intense it is to be able to look at yourself grow up every single day? It is such, like, an amazing feeling, but also it's very scary because I get to look back on all the fucking horrible times that I've had in the last six years, and there have been horrible ones. And I notice that I go through a lot, like, I, 
What is really cool about that project is that I get to see where I am, where I am in the world, who I'm with, what I was doing, and I actually remember how I was feeling that day. And I know that that can kind of sound impossible, but it's just the way that I am and it really helps me to remember who I am because I have a lot of disassociating things that go on in my head. But anyways, this project is like my life and I'm so glad to be able to share it um, with a lot of people. So if you'd like to see it, I will put it in the link down there. It's, I just posted it, it's every day for six years. Six years, holy shit, that's crazy. So I know that you guys are probably wondering what kind of changes I had from like five years to six years. Honestly, nothing. Um, I'm still on progesterone because I did have bleeding last year. Um, I don't want to get off of it just in case. Um, honestly, like, there's really there's nothing else that has changed. Um, I will tell you, non-transition related, I have lost a lot of weight. Um, I didn't really notice that last year until somebody, actually more than one person, uh, kept telling me, oh my god, you lost so much weight. So I decided to do comparisons of like body pictures and I was like, holy Jesus Christ. I didn't realize it because I was just running for me. Um, and now that I've been running more consistently and I'm training for a marathon, like, like, sometimes I'm too much in my head, honestly. Sometimes I'm, I, I don't think that the things that I'm doing are helping anybody or that I'm doing the good for myself. But then sometimes when I say it out loud, I'm like, holy shit, I do so much. I don't know how I do this. And the, but the whatever, I lost weight. I don't even know where that went. I'm sorry. I'm really emotional. A lot of the things have been happening this week and it's, it's like really hard to make videos about things that are like milestones when like shit like that is happening. But yeah, anyways, thank you so much for watching. It's a short video today. Um, I'm just really happy that I'm able to like share my life with so many people online. That makes it sound like I have sister wives up in here. Like I'm sharing my life with my wives. Although it wouldn't be like the OPP, the one penis policy. How do I know that? No, I just, I, I watch too much Sister Wives, man. I got a problem. All right, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. I will see you later. Please go watch the every day um, for six years because that's really the most important thing, you know. I'll, it'll be a milestone when I hit seven and it'll be a milestone when I hit 10. All right, so for now, just like enjoy my face, um, literally 2,194 pictures of it, and I will see you later. Okay, bye.